Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and welcome back to the 13 Nights of Halloween 2022 edition. This year, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. My original plan was to bring back all the previous guests of 13 Nights of Halloween and continue on with some new guests going forward, but unfortunately some stuff happened um, IRL, which kind of put the kibosh. I need to take a break away for personal reasons. And so my original plans kind of got shot, for uh, lack of a better term. But that being said, I still have plenty of new guests and some old ones coming up, and I'll also be playing some horror games. So get ready for 13 nights, 13 over 13 videos, I'll say, of me playing horror-related video games. I hope you like it. If you do, remember to leave a like on every single video. I'm not going to ask for them in every single one of them, but I do this every year, and I do it for the fun of it because I love Halloween. And I always try and make it better every each and every year. And yeah, let's go into it. So today I'm going to be playing some Goosebumps because I think I can actually beat this game before the 13 nights are over. <laughs> this is a point and click adventure game. Uh, and you're asking yourself, there's a point and click adventure game of Goosebumps? And the answer is yes, based off of the movie and uh, made by way forward. <laughs> so let's go with girl. My gender is girl. I will try and read my best. This guy creeps me out. We better get a big tip. Oh yeah. If you're that concerned, maybe try not to drop his stuff. Hey, for all we know, the lock got busted before I dropped it. I've heard that before. Better call sale. Whatever, just finish packing with up this junk and head back for the rest. So yeah, this is loosely based off of the movie. Who hires a movie company to move out in the middle of the night? Just be glad someone did. We needed the job. Hmm, <laughs> so what about the girl? Should I call her or not? The toll booth operator? You got a, you ain't got a chance. Yeah, it's probably for the best anyway, woof woof our on the road life. Hmm. That guy looks out of it. Say, you ever get creeped out dreaming late at night? What do you mean? Oh, you know, it's late, everyone's asleep, and we to get that slink out from the shadows. This better not be about the haunted car again. It's real! Real, maybe, but not haunted. Well, it seemed haunted at the time. You can't scare me with that story. I already heard it a million times. Well, good. That's not even my Harry's adventure. You see this one time? Evil Genie? Heard that one. Okay, well. Zombies? Guess I told you a lot of these. We don't got to talk the whole time, you know. Could listen to... You. What was that? So, you gonna open it? Oh, I ain't open it. You're the one with all the scary adventures. But, there's so much weird stuff in there, you saw it. Just open the door already. Oh, no! I can't see anything. Satisfied? Looks like you've got a new tale of horror, Night of the Chipped Over Box. Not funny. Oh, there's someone there. What is it? Some kid? <laughs> what? It's just a ventriloquist dummy. He opens his eyes. <laughs> Who you calling dummy, dummy? My slappy impression. The next day. Finally, school's out for all for all the day and you're ready to pleasantly walk home. Those clouds look pretty bad though. Was it supposed to rain today? You go to check the weather, but your cell phone appears to be missing. You must have left it somewhere, but where? You can examine your environment by moving the cursor to an object or area and pressing the left mouse button and clicking look at the drop-down. The drop-down is your verb menu, jumps based on the object. You can look directly by pressing Q or even interacting by pressing E. Look. It's the key to your locker. You keep it easily accessible at all times. That way you have it more between classes to chat with friends. So, look. The door onto the school building. Kids were sprinting out of it moments ago. They're probably halfway home by now. To move between the areas, select exit and left mouse button and move from the drop down. You can just move. With a heavy sigh, you trudge back inside. The long empty hallway stretches into the distance. You stop near your locker, trusty 402. Your locker. With any luck, your cell phone is in there. Use? 
You turn the key and the lock pops open easily. You slide it off and open the locker. Look. You put these stickers up at the start of the year and are already sick of them. Your brother was right. The only thing more permanent than tattoos are stickers. Stick carefully. Let's see. Look. These are all the books you didn't need for homework. I can take those. You have to few books out of the locker but realize how much space they take up in your bag. You feel like you might need that bag space and put the books back where you got them. Let's see. History. Nope. So it's not here. I don't see a cell phone here. Slam the locker shut. Having a locker so close to math is more of a curse than a blessing. You end up seeing a lot of Miss Thule. Open. Classroom is seriously the last place you feel like going right now. Okay. Uh, look. This happened the day Roger forgot his locker combination. Fortunately, yours is easy to remember. Insert key turn. Another door looms at the far end of the hall. You aren't quite sure what's behind it. Stairs, maybe? You don't have time for that. Plus, if you've never been there before, chances are some of your phone would be. Uh, I didn't really see it in there, but... Oh, there we go. There's my phone. Take. Thank goodness, it's your cell phone. Seemingly unharmed and fully charged. So you're ready to play your gotchas. Take. You grab your cell phone and cradle it protectively against your chest. You were afraid you'd lose it. F after a moment, you calm down and check the phone. Yep, it's still fully charged somehow. Looks like you have a voicemail. You click play. Hi, Wokey. It's Mom. Just wanted to let you know I'll be home later on tonight. The client wants to take us to dinner. Chad should be home pretty soon, so you two will need to fend for yourselves. Remember, the key's under the back steps. Love you. You slam the locker shut. Let's move. We gladly leave the school building for the second time today. I don't know why anyone would leave a phone in their locker. At the front of your school, the gate's still open, so you should be able to come and go as you need. With your phone in hand, you can now head home. Your phone has a map function to chart your journey. You can also call your mother, brother, or information to proceed various ends. Let's move. You walk through the gates to the parking lot. The school parking lot is nearly empty. As much as the school's gone home, you can faintly hear the football team practicing in the distance, though. There are multiple ways to move between the areas. Try holding the left or right arrow key to move to the next area. So let me see if I... Yeah, save would be a good idea. Because you can die in this game. Look. You peer over, trying not to get too close to what you can smell it. You fail the reek and spoiled glass salt milk assaults you. Look at the slime. The slime is not normal. Your mind races with thoughts of alien invasions or zombie drool. What could it be? You muster some courage and go for a closer look. Oh, it's just someone old's milkshake, really. Old milkshake. Open. Gross. Can I push it? If the smell didn't destroy you, the cockroach is scared and cause the dumpster certainly do. Alright, let's see. You can go here. You hike up the well-known path into the woods. Ah, the familiar sights and sounds of the woods. The path leads over to the bridge and turns into some trees. Look. Oh no, looks like someone lost their dog. Poor kid. I can take it. You put the flyer from the cheese chase in case you find a similar dog. Alright, go forward. You cross the bridge and head deeper into the woods. You reach a small clearing surrounded by trees on all sides. There's a weird guy creeping around. You've never seen him before. Look. The guy looks at around 30 or so. But there's something off about him. His clothes are torn and you won't make eye contact. Taking a closer look, you notice his hair is green, kind of leafy. You see bugs crawling around beneath his clothes. Obviously, talk to him. You start to ask the man if he's lost, but he grunts at you, unintelligible. Alright, well. Let's go this way. You take a few steps around the weird guy, but he spins on you with inhuman speed. Jump scare. Your vision blurs as the plant creature's vines hang around your neck. You struggle, but it's too late. You're already withering. Retry. Okay. 
So that guy kills you if you try and go near him. Let's see if we can take the other path. Ah, uh, nope. All right, so we can't go through here. Okay. Let's go down. By the time you reach the shed, the wind's picked up quite a bit. Your cheeks sting from the cold. Weed killer will help. It's a bottle of weed killer with a handy two settling nozzle. You carefully tuck the weed killer into your bag, checking that it's set it off. Look. The padlock looked ancient, so it's covered in rust. So now obviously that means we can hit it. Ouch, you slam your fist against the lock, resulting only in bloody knuckles. What's the point of a shed if you're gonna leave all the tools outside? It's got a point. You knock vanishes to the structure, you wait a moment, but there's no response. Guess he's not home. No. Nope, padlock home foot shut. So we're good for you now. We have the thing we need. Yep, I was about to save. Now, I wonder if we have to use the weed killer on the guy before we get to him. Either way, I am using it on him. On a hunch, you raise the weed killer and pump the trigger three times, spraying the strange figure. He recoils violently as it hits its face. Whoop. That was my mom coming home, which scared the shit out of me. He retreats to the foot of the hill before falling down and cowering. Can I still talk to him? Look. He doesn't seem to be threatening anymore. He's covered his face with his long, ropey fingers and trembling. Can I talk to him? He doesn't seem to be particularly interested in conversation at the moment. Leaves crunch under your path. This is the end of the wood. You can go to your neighborhood just up that hill. Looks like there's some kind of commotion near the tunnel. Well, we'll save it for now, just to go see what my mom needs. We will continue this on in the 13 nights. Don't worry, I like Goosebumps a whole bunch, but there's actual spooky games coming around too. But I always thought this game was neat, so um, glad to play it for the actual channel now. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.